So I was asked how I made my gada, which is uh, this weapon here that Hanuman holds. I'm going to keep this simple. Let's go up here and get a, a sphere. Uh, move that up um, and let's size it. Scale it to the right size. Now I want to take these segments uh, up a bit so that in the middle I have I want to I want to bring it out how it is in the picture so that looks about right right click make editable uh, select the face select or oh, the line selection tool actually all right I want to rectangle select select all of these uh, these lines oh I want to take off only select visible elements select that again so now we've all of it selected let's not scale yeah let's scale that up like that let's take the face modeling tool select that with the rectangle selection uh, I can hold down control and deselect these use live selection for that now right click take extrude and let's bring that out a little bit that's about enough and then right click again extrude inner I'm going to make a small square within the face right click extrude now take that inside and now you've got that little cool little rim that we usually have now go up take other faces now I want to make it more like the, the picture it's not all square so let's set all of this rectangle selection be better and um, uh, deselect these I have selection control rub it out okay let me right click extrude I well, maybe it's not going to be good enough let's just move it up yeah, that looks alright. Looks more like a gutter or a mace. Right click, extrude that and take that in a bit. A little rim. And uh, we'll carry on taking more faces. Live selection tool, put that in. <coughs> Select all of the, or some of these top faces. I'm gonna just take, take this row. always control and unclick some and I will also bring this up so this is up separately you've got like a like a water fountain or sort of thing going on you can go to point selection tool I can also use that I'm just taking the top point click that and move it up you've got like a corner like a point um, Oh, different god does look different. Uh, I like this. Well, I can carry on shaping this up, but yeah. I want to select these faces down here. And use the life selection is quite easy. Um, I want it to be coming out, so let's extrude this. So it comes out like that. That looks pretty cool. Um, now I'll just select some of the faces only within it, so I can just unselect the outside face. Now I can use extrude again, bring that more out. So now you've we've got that toppling effect again. Unselect these faces, and then one more time. Now it comes out like a cylinder. So we've got pretty much this sorted. Now I want to add something new to this. I want to add a couple of balls, uh, like gems that you usually have in a goddard. I want to move that up there and stick it into the face that we made. Right, 
got that there now I want it to be all around so I could if I wanted to I could just make loads of copies of this first let me throw in a material I made a I've got a gem material so open that um, throw that material on there but first let me edit it uh, reflection take off specular I don't like that take the reflection down so that you can just see a shiny or throw that on there and now we've got that gem so in full view this is easier uh, I can adjust it easy even better in all four, all four ways and if I hold control and drag it out it makes a copy I could do this all day um, putting it all around but that's not what I want to do delete that and go to MoGraph click cloner now if you drag the sphere underneath the cloner you see uh, okay it looks like it's disappeared but it hasn't it's gone down here if I bring this count up you see it's made several copies so it's cloned the same object several times click that and click radial so now we've got a small circle if I bring this view down here you can see this is not the circle I want it on, I want it on a XZ plane that's exactly how we want it you can see on the top view that's right click that click the radius and bring that up so it's covered all around so the top view looks right you can see on the perspective view that it needs to be sorted out so let's bring it up from the front view so you can see the four views really help here move it up all the way there that's in place move it down just so that it goes inside the face a bit more now I can bring this count up a bit more if I wanted make it filled up so that it looks like there's many gems within the the mace that's too many oh that's alright uh, back here that looks right so next I've added a material on here so looking good what next okay some of these faces need to come in at the top and the bottom so let me quickly select them using shift and select um, now I've got them use a scale tool I'll bring it out a bit just about there that looks alright right click extrude inner make it small and now if I scale the inside face you got a nice little bump coming in so that looks nice that looks like a cool little bump render view yeah I like that it looks real uh, let me move this up and we can stick the stick a cylinder in there make that smaller and taller that's about right take that in there that is good but we need the top bit a bit more wide throw the material on there first um, yeah the top needs to be a bit more wide so let's go back let me take the point at the top rectangle select and then scale and now you've got a bigger top face now let's take the red back off from the sphere so we can see the top of face again and keep z uh, scaling this up yeah that's looking more like it now I want to take the knife uh, loop selection so I want to put in some cuts some bumps on here so just about here and here will do so now I can select these faces with a rectangle tool and I can extrude this out a bit just so there's a bit of a tip yeah that's it now knife again I want to this time I want to put three in there I want to make a curved um, a curved little bump 
I'll show you how how I do that. Put three. Take all of those faces in there. Now right click, extrude, bring that out. I'll take just the points, select the ones in the middle, and now if I scale this, I get a little room. I'm going to add some more detail here, but anyway, back here. I'm not going to add all of this design for now, it's advanced, but let's add this ball at the bottom. So, object sphere. Um, make that smaller and bring it down so just about there and there we have it I'll throw a material on there too for those of you that don't know the gada or mace represents a concentrated life like how the earth moves around the sun and gathers the life force from it and stores it the mace moves around the body and uses the energy of the practitioner so it's also a sign of bravery confidence and fearlessness and it's the weapon of lord hanuman i'll show you how to make this animation next <laughs> 